everybody, it's Roger from Roger's Reviews. Just want to get this. Uh, it's Saturday, uh, August 27, 2022. And I have a little tool set that I got off Amazon. And it's the Check Auto Tire Repair Technology. It was $19.99. Tax was $1.50, so it was $21.49. Um, I bought a couple different versions of this <laughs> because I just got stranded in a Tesla Model Y and there is nothing in there to do anything with a tire. And I believe that a lot of those newer cars are the same way. So if you have a newer car or a Tesla or anything that doesn't have a spare, you might want to invest in a kit like this. Let's go ahead and see what we got. Tire plug kit comes with uh, some nice big fat handled uh, tire uh, puncture seal kit and it also has some spares um, comes with a whole pack of plugs they look pretty decent there is like one two three four five Looks like there's 20, 20 plugs. So, and you also want to keep them in a nice Ziploc bag. Um, once they dry out, they don't really work as well. So you definitely want to keep that sealed up well. And then comes with um, a tool to separate. To, like if your valve stem's leaking, sometimes you can just replace your valve stem and there's a valve stem tool and there's a couple extra um, valve stem caps uh, I think there's four valve stem caps four valve stems uh, the valve stem tool has a couple different uh, tools on it uh, I think for threading like if your valve stem has a problem you can uh, there's a, like a threading tool um, what else? And then there's a Allen wrench for taking out these extra coring tools. So there's an Allen wrench uh, set screw on each one of these handles. So if you break one of these, you got a spare. You also have a razor blade that comes out. So once you plug the hole, you can simply take this and cut the excess plug off so that's not sticking out um, tire repair kit shows you the basics of how to plug a tire and also comes with a little lubrication so to help Kind of like a Vaseline type gel. This will help the uh, help you get the um, plug inside the hole after you ream it out. So all in all, this is a super simple kit, but it has pretty much everything you need uh, to plug a tire. The only thing I would recommend to add to this would be a needle nose pliers and a pair of uh, side cutters, or some people call them dikes. Uh, to basically, you need something to pull the, the projectile or the screw, nut, or bolt, or piece of metal out of your tire. And this kit does not include that. That would be one thing that I would highly recommend because you're not going to be able to get that screw out uh, with just your fingers. Um, and there's nothing in this kit that I can see that would help you do that, facilitate that. So I would put uh, at least bare minimum a pair of needle nose pliers um, and a pair of uh, side cutting dikes 
uh, whatever your preference is, whatever your hands work the best with to pull out objects out of your tire, like a screw. Um, but I think uh, if you didn't have anything else, at least bare minimum uh, would be uh, needle nose pliers. I personally like dykes, uh, the side cutters, because you can really dig into the tire and it has a thin enough spot where you can pry it out. And then also too, instead of using this razor knife, which is handy, you can use the side cutters to snip off the extra rubber once you uh, put it in place. So in addition to this, I would highly recommend that you get some type of air pump. I don't care if it's a, um, a hand pump, like a tire pump, um, or and or um, a compressor, like a, maybe something you can plug into your cigarette lighter or a battery charge one. It'd be nice to have both, one that you can plug in to your cigarette lighter and has a battery backup because sometimes when you're on the side of the road, um, you know, maybe your battery's about to die. You don't want to like use the last year battery power to pump your tire up and not be able to start your car. Um, and then sometimes you don't, maybe you don't have enough gas to keep, you know, idling your car while you're changing your tire and then you're breathing in the fumes <laughs> while you're on the side of the road. I mean, there's just a combination of uh, things that can happen. But if you have an electric car, um, you know, you can still turn it on. But uh, sometimes you like on some of the cars, they don't even have cigarette lighters. So <laughs> you don't have a really good way to charge the battery if you have a compressor that plugs in the wall. So hopefully <laughs> your car has an outlet or you have some type of an adapter or uh, some type of device that you can charge your tire pump. But uh, like I said, the pump, the ones that pump up by hand, they might take forever, but um, it's better than nothing. And I'd rather have that than a dead battery in an air compressor you know that can't pump my tire so at least you can always pump manually the tire um, i pumped up a tire before it takes 10 or 20 minutes but eventually does pump up as long as you have a plug or the, sl the leak is very slow it might get you the next gas station or tire repair shop where they can get you back on the road so again this is roger with roger's reviews on the uh, check auto tire repair kit um, this is the bare minimum. This is the bare minimum thing you need, but you also need some type of uh, equipment to inflate your tire. This will plug it, but once you put the plug in, unless you have run flats, it's not gonna do you much good unless you have a way to fill that tire back up. Um, the only way this might help you is if you can pull the nail out and put the plug in without using total pressure in your tire, uh, which is gonna be kind of hard to do if you're not used to doing this every day. And if that nail falls out and you don't get that plug in immediately after and you, and you can't ream it, that tire is going to probably be too flat to drive on once you make the repair. So in addition to this, uh, flathead, I mean a, a needle nose pliers, side cutters, and some type of air compressor. Um, and I'd, again, I'd recommend a manual and a rechargeable a battery comp uh, air compressor that way no matter what you should have a way to inflate your tires to get you to safety all right if you like this video crush the like button and subscribe i'm going to be bringing you a few more items that you should take with you especially if you have a, a newer vehicle without a spare tire have an awesome day god bless